Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of TLDR. We're kicking off the year at CES, one of the largest tech industry events. CES is the consumer electronics show in Las Vegas with brands all over the world showcasing their latest innovations. And for Google, our Android experience shows off our latest tech and how our products work better together. We're here to give Googlers an inside scoop on what this year's CES has to offer. Let's, Let's go! go. Android made an appearance throughout the city of Las Vegas, on billboards, the monorail, and on Sphere, with custom bug droids special made for the occasion. And at CES, we built a dedicated Android experience to showcase how our latest devices and AI features can help you do more with Google. This year, we got to see... Wait, is that Dieter? Hey everybody, I am Dieter Bone, and I do product review and strategy inside platforms and ecosystems. So I've been coming to CES since 2007. That makes it, I don't know, 13, 14 years of coming to the show if you don't count the pandemic. And I used to come here as a journalist, which was very high stress, very exciting, running around looking at gadgets. And now that I'm here as a Googler, it's still very high stress, uh, but I do get to run around and look at gadgets, which I deeply love. CS is always a big car show, but honestly, the thing I'm most excited for is there's a Polestar 3 back here in the Google booth, and I love me a Polestar. Another thing I'm excited about you can't really see is there's a bunch of work on standards here at CES, and I love tech standards, and Matter is getting some new support. They're gonna be able to use TVs as Matter hubs, which makes perfect sense. And there's gonna be a bunch of other smart home devices that I'm really excited to try out. All right, so I think there's a lot of demos in the space. What have been some of your favorites? It's just like a fun booth. There's an AR experience. You can see a skateboarding Android. My personal favorite is probably the cast demo, which we could go check out if you want. Like right now? I think I think right now. I think we're live. Oh, right now. Like. All right, tell us all about it. Okay, so I'm listening to music on my phone. I just got home, and I would rather listen to it on the nice speaker on my Pixel tablet so I can show my intent just by bringing my phone close. And then when it's time to leave my house, I can show my intent just by bringing the phone close again. And it pulls it off of the tablet, onto the phone. Now it's grooving on my phone. From there, we checked out the rest of the more everything space. You can now cast TikTok videos from your Android phone to your Chromecast built-in devices. Our new sharing solution, QuickShare, is a collaboration with Samsung and allows faster content sharing across the Android ecosystem. And there are so many devices to play with. We got to hear from Samir about our CES space and what's new from Android. I'm Samir. Uh, I am the VP of the Android ecosystem team at Google. We're here at the Android experience at CES, and the theme of this year is do more with Google on Android. So the CES space this year for Android is basically a set of different buildings. And what's really amazing about what the event team does here is they actually build this whole setup. It's like the Googleplex, but transported here to CES and they build it here. I mean, every room's got something different in it. So this one is talking about the different devices in our ecosystem, foldable phones, how everything works better together. You've got a bunch of cool things in the next room over here, highlighting all the AI capabilities we have on Android, like Magic Editor, Magic Compose, and uh, AI generated wallpapers. Do you have a favorite? Oh, there's so many to choose from. <laughs> to be honest, I love the AI wallpapers. I won't embarrass myself with how long, but I spent like way too long just having it generate different wallpapers for me. So maybe we can do one right now? Yeah. Okay, let's have it build a surreal bicycle made out of flowers in pink and purple. There we go. Wow. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah, I like it. I really have to thank the marketing and the events team for what they do. Not only do we have all the products that we're highlighting here from, from Android and from Google, but they've also just done a lot of little things in all the corners that make it pretty delightful. The kind of above and beyond stuff. Well, thanks events team. You really hit it out of the park. We're off to check out the more creating space and see those AI wallpapers. We demoed the new messages features, including Magic Compose to help write a message, and photo emoji to create a customized sticker. And it all came together in a printed postcard. We got to try YouTube Create, our new mobile app currently in beta for creators. You can edit audio placement, select from a royalty-free music library, and generate automatic captions. Then we got to pick our favorite pin and really show off our love for Android with a new tattoo. 
Now let's see the magic of Magic Editor. Hi, I'm Ashley Liu and I work on Google Photos as the product marketing manager. So this is Magic Editor and the great thing about Magic Editor is that it makes complex edits super easy with the help from generative AI. Here we have a picture of the bug droid at the Grand Canyon. There's a toilet sign in the shot. To access the tool, you go into Magic Editor. So here's the toilet sign, you can tap it, you can brush it like that and just simply erase. It's generating a couple different options where it kind of rebuilds the background so it is a really seamless photo. So what you can do is simply tap, hold, reposition, but you can also resize as needed. And then there you go. And finally, at the bottom, we have a bunch of contextual presets. So I'll click golden hour and what it does is it'll give you a couple of different options with the sunset in the background. And here you see before what the picture was before and what it is after with Magic Editor. The best part is you can edit any photo that is backed up into your Google Photos and as long as the phone is on a Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro phone. The next area shows just some of the ways Google can help you do more with AI. You can collaborate with Duet AI and Workspace to help you write an email and then shorten it to get to the point. And the demos showcased how Google is keeping your data safer with always on protection and call screen, which uses AI to help safeguard you from spam and scams across your phone calls, messages, Chrome browsing, and more. Next stop, more exploring. Our search generative experience, SGE, shows new ways to search and discover information using AI-powered overviews, cited sources, and prompted follow-up questions. The bar demo helped us plan a trip itinerary and learn more about the nearby Las Vegas area. And with immersive view on Google Maps, we can explore Las Vegas through 3D imagery, see local restaurant reservations, and check the forecast to make sure it's not too cold to eat dinner outside. Last but not least, let's see the latest from Android Auto. Oh, sorry, Auto. We meant Android Auto. We're here in the Polestar 3 with Google built-in. Hi, I'm Rachel and I work for the auto marketing team. We're here today in the Polestar 3 with Google built-in and what's exciting about this car is that it comes with helpful Google apps like Google Maps, Google Assistant, and more apps on Google Play built directly into the car. We have new apps like Chrome Browser rolling out in beta and video apps like PBS Kids, Crunchyroll, and more coming to cars with Google built-in so that you can stay entertained while parked waiting for curbside pickup or to charge your electric vehicle. Thanks for being here to check it out. Just one question for you, my friend. Are you tired? I'll see myself out. And we definitely couldn't leave before checking out the most popular section of the booth. My favorite thing is they have this Android jukebox. There's a jukebox with a bunch of songs that are on theme with AI and their puns, which is perfect, and we should go read them. I'm so happy. <laughs> we start with the basic stuff like Bohemian Mapsody, which is pretty solid, but then you've got AI of the Tiger. AR, are you gonna be my girl? I only have eyes for YouTube. Gen AI in a bottle, rolling in the deep mind. Take me to search. <laughs> Where OS my mind. So catch me if I fall. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Chris, it has been a long day. I think I'm ready for a Siesta? Huh? Huh? See myself out. Bye, Googlers!